Hexagonal nuts are the one of the most common nuts available and are used with bolts, screws, studs and threaded rods or any other fasteners that have machine screw threads. So this is the figure that will be given to you. It has planned elevation and end view of a, a hexagonal nut along with all the dimensions. So as far as drawing of hexagonal nut is concerned, uh, we'll start with the center line as it is shown in the figure. So you always try to start a figure with the uh, center line and then what you will do, you will try to make a rectangle uh, which is shown in the elevation of the dimensions 2D by D. So uh, the length is 2D and the height is D. So you will draw a rectangle of 2D by D and you will divide into three parts as shown in the red color on the right hand side. The three parts are D by 2, D and D and again D by 2. So you have divided this rectangle of 2D by D into three parts of D by 2, D and again D by 2. So this is the uh, rectangle which is uh, will be shown in the elevation. And now we move on uh, uh, from elevation to the plan. Uh, so uh, what we do, we'll draw a hexagon first. Uh, as you know, this is a hexagonal nut, so it has six sides and each side is of D diameter, of D length and the angle will be 60 degree. So we, what we will do, we will take the required projections from the rectangle uh, of the elevation of the hexagonal nut that we have drawn and we have taken the uh, projections to the plan to draw hexagonal a uh, uh, nut first so we are drawing hexagon and the circle on which the hexagon is drawn is of root 3 into d the value of d will be provided to you and you have to calculate the dimensions accordingly so what it is done right now is that we have taken the four projections and uh, from these four projections we are drawing hexagon of the side d and the angles of these hexagon are 60 degree. So uh, we are drawing a hexagon and this hexagon is made on a circle of root 3D. Once the hexagon is drawn, we will draw two circles from the two center lines that we have. Uh, it will be of diameter D and 0.85D. So these two circles shows the, uh, the hole and the nominal diameter uh, and one of these circles will be 3 by 4th circle and, and it shows the convention that this uh, nut has an internal threads. So as you can see that there is one circle of 0.85D which is the smaller circle and the bigger circle is of D which is a 3 4th circle and which, which, which is a convention for showing that this nut is having internal threads. And as, as I have told you earlier also that this hexagon is made on a circle of diameter root 3 into D. Uh, the value of D will be given to you and accordingly you will calculate all the rest of the um, values. So uh, once uh, we have drawn hexagon and the, three, and the two circles, um, in this way the plan is complete. Now we will again move on to the elevation and we will draw the three arcs as shown in the yellow ink on the right hand side. The first arc with the center arc is of 1.5D. You will take this distance on the center line and you will mark this arc and you will take the projections of the arc where it uh, intersects the vertical lines to the other side and you will draw another two arcs these two arcs will be either drawn with the help of three point uh, formula three point method or you can also uh, draw it by bisection method so in this way uh, the three arcs of the elevation of the hexagonal nut is made so once the two uh, side arcs are made you have to chamfer it chamfering is lowering down the corners uh, the, uh, as it has been shown, the center uh, uh, center arc is 1.5D on the center line. So, uh, in this way, this is shown that the center uh, arc is 1.5D. So, 
once the three arcs is complete then as i told you uh, we have to uh, lower the corners the sharp corners and these dotted lines are projections from the two circles which are in the plan and this shows that this nut is having internal threads so dotted line shows this this uh, having um, internal threads and the distance between the dotted line is 0.8 uh, d and then uh, the chamfer angle of 30 degrees been drawn and um, the chamfer angle is on both sides so it it is to reduce the or to turn down the corners so that a spanner can fit and it, it doesn't hurt it so in this way the elevation and plan of hexagonal nut is complete now what we have to do and we have to make the end view as it is shown in the right hand side so for drawing the end view first we have to take the required projections from the plan as well as from the elevation to the end view so as you have learned in the first year how to transfer projections uh, you have to draw a 45 degree angle line and then you just um, extend the horizontal lines and then uh, from the 45 degree angle you extend them vertically so that projections are being transferred to the required figure so in this way the three lines of the hexagon are transferred to the end view and the rest will be transferred from the elevation the height will be transferred from the elevation and one another thing that should be noted is that in elevation we three we see the three faces of a nut while in end view as shown on the right hand side uh, we will see only the two faces of the nut so uh, we will draw two arcs so in elevation we have drawn three arcs uh, in uh, end view we will draw two arcs as we can see only the two faces in the um, end view so what we have done is we have uh, transferred the projections from the plan as well as from the elevation to the end view and now we are uh, extending the projections where the arc meets the vertical lines and the two arcs which uh, which we are drawing now can be drawn with the help of three point methods two on the lines and one on the uh, midpoint as shown in the figure so that it can also be drawn with the help of bisection method but three point method is very simple and can be drawn with the help of circle master so once the arcs are drawn the main figure is been uh, uh, the intensity of the main figure is been um, increased uh, as you can notice the main figure has an intensity slightly greater than the figure and th then the lines which are used for construction so please remember to uh, to make the intensity of the main figure little bit higher than the construction figures so in this way um, uh, we have drawn the three views now only thing which remains is that to transfer the projections of the two circles which are there on the plan uh, it is of the diameter or the hole uh, which is there in the nut and the threads so we transfer it uh, to the end view and it will be shown with the help of dotted lines on the end view dotted lines denote that this is hidden we can't see it in the but it is there in the um, background so what it is done is now so the uh, the two diameters have been projected to the end views so in this way we complete the three views of hexagonal nut so in order to make hexagonal nut in examination what you need to remember is the steps of construction and also you need to know the required dimensions the standard dimensions which are given uh, uh, so that when the value of d is given to you you calculate the rest of the dimensions and then you draw the required figure so in this way uh, the three views of hexagonal nut is complete so this is the final view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.